Coming up on Around Kern County, are you looking for a job that makes a real impact in our community? We're sharing how you can attend Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services upcoming Career Expo. And you can give a shelter pet a day of fun with Animal Services Streets of Bakersfield program. We have details on how you can sign up to make a difference in the life of a local pup when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week, the Kern County Board of Supervisors proclaimed April as Child Abuse Prevention Month here in Kern County. This important campaign is led by the Kern County Department of Human Services in partnership with many community organizations. Child Abuse Prevention Month works to highlight the vital need for stopping this tragedy here in our community through awareness and education. Throughout the month of April, DHS will provide free resources and trainings to residents in support of preventing child abuse. You can also join in on Blue Sunday, a nationally designated day where faith-based partners pray for and remember the victims of child abuse and those who work to rescue them. We depend on the community for your support to help us combat child abuse in Kern County. And in an effort to continue to equip our community about the importance of child abuse um, and to strengthen families and protect children, we are offering some public virtual training opportunities for the community. One is in equity and inclusion in child welfare. Another is mandated reporting and domestic violence training, as well as hosting a podcast about what happens when you call the CPS Child Abuse Hotline. To get involved with Child Abuse Prevention Month and learn more on how you can make a difference, please visit kcdhs.org. If you're looking for a meaningful career geared towards benefiting the well-being of our residents, look no further than joining the Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services team. On Saturday, April 22nd, you can learn more about the organization's open positions at the Kern BHRS Career Expo. It kicks off at 9 in the morning and goes until 1 in the afternoon at their main county building, located at 2001 28th Street in Bakersfield. Kern BHRS provides a wealth of mental health services to our community as their department is dedicated to helping our neighbors who are struggling with their mental health, addiction, and other issues. If you're looking to join this field and make a difference right here in Kern County, you can get a jump start on applying for current vacancies. Just visit kerncounty.com careers to get started today. If you've been thinking about adopting a pet or simply want to give back to our community's pups, now is your chance. Anna Marie Odo has more on an upcoming special event. Take advantage of the warm weather this weekend with a day out on the town with a furry friend. Kern County Animal Services is hosting their Streets of Bakersfield event where you can take a dog out of their shelter and spend the day treating them to fun around town. On Saturday, April 1st, dogs can be picked up from the shelter from 10 in the morning until 12 noon and return back to the shelter by 3.30 in the afternoon. To apply and plan for a fun weekend ahead, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And as a reminder, you can always adopt a pet from Kern County Animal Services. Be sure to check out that section of their website if you're looking for a new addition to your family. If you're ready to get started on your spring cleaning, you can get rid of your hazardous waste this month with the help of Kern County Public Works. They're holding five household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of April. Beginning this Saturday, April 1st, Public Works will hold a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Residents can also get rid of their waste on Friday, April 7th at the Kern Valley Transfer Station, Saturday, April 15th at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill, Saturday, April 22nd in California City, and Saturday, April 29th at the Taft Recycling and Sanitary Landfill. 
Residents are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.